bracing for some big crowds on Friday, and they want to make sure people know this is supposed to be family friendly. A big police presence expected as hundreds of thousands are set to pour into the city for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We will have officers uh, along the route and working with the state police and all our partners. A shocking show of hate at last year's Southie Parade. White supremacists unveiled a banner reading Keep Boston Irish. Police say they'll be on the lookout. It doesn't matter if it's a hate group or anyone who comes into the city that wants to do harm or interrupt our daily lives or, you know, they are on our radar and we will address it appropriately. We're very grateful to the Boston Police for taking on the additional um, staffing and, and resources and intense planning that's required. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu also encouraging people to take the tea, even with the added delays and speed restrictions. The MBTA police, transit police have been at the table and incredibly engaged. They have assured us that th this is on their radar as a very big, important, large scale event. And so they know that we need to have special care here. To keep it family friendly, the commissioner says liquor stores in South Boston will be closing at four in the afternoon. Bars there won't be allowed to let anyone in past 630 at night. Police also asking people to watch their drinks so they don't get spiked. We just want people to stay safe and be cognizant of their drinks and making sure they're covered. So they're bracing for big crowds starting on Friday. Of course, that parade is Sunday. And one more word of caution. Police are suggesting, look, if anybody wants to take your phone and take a picture and offer to take a picture of you, don't do it, especially if it's unlocked. We're live here in Roxbury, Charmitzketty, WCVB News Center 5.